Thank you very much, Chair. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to express my appreciation for your interest in climate change, particularly in addressing this major challenge through innovation. Over the past few days at COP28, I had the opportunity to address mainly governmental actors, fellow world leaders. However, I firmly believe that in effectively responding to climate change, governments need to develop a strong partnership with businesses, financial institutions, research and innovation entities and NGOs. I'm therefore glad to be here today with innovators from all these sectors. Romania, my country, is situated in Central Europe in a region sometimes perceived as having a large carbon footprint. However, Few people know that Romania has actually reduced its greenhouse gas emissions with more than two-thirds in the last three decades, while multiplying its gross domestic product. Building on this track record, we are committed to simultaneously grow our economy and further reduce emissions. In this regard, we need transformative and innovative technologies at accessible prices. Dear innovators, the green innovation landscape in Romania is very dynamic. Large university centers, such as the ones in Bucharest and Cluj, innovate in sustainable building materials and energy efficiency applications. Companies in Romania are advancing the heat pumps technology, which we anticipate will be key to decarbonizing the heating and cooling sector across Romania and the European Union. Research and innovation can help strengthen and better adapt agricultural production to climate change, both in Romania and worldwide. At COP26 in Glasgow, Romania was among the first countries to join the Agriculture Innovation Mission for Climate, an initiative seeking to address climate change and global hunger through food systems innovation. The Romanian endeavors are part of the European Union's wider innovation efforts. The European Union is the promoter of the most advanced emissions trading system in the world. The European Union is also an innovator when it comes to climate finance and financial incentives for climate action. At the same time, the European Union is a leader in the research and development of energy storage and carbon capture solutions, both essential for reaching net zero emissions. Romania is interested to develop, to deploy, but also to manufacture green technologies and contribute in this way to international green value chains. Analysis published by the World Bank are indicating Romania's export competitiveness in subcomponents of the wind value chain such as electric control and distribution boards. Romania is an increasingly attractive host for green technologies manufacturing. Through the Just Transition Fund, my country actively supports the development of batteries manufacturing in regions where the local economy is currently still dependent on coal. Also, major car manufacturers in Romania are redirecting their production towards electric vehicles. Distinguished audience, synergies between green and digital transitions facilitate effective climate action. To support developing countries in reaching their digitalization and sustainability goals, 
Romania joined this year the European Union-led Digital for Development Hub for projects in Africa and Latin America. Accelerated global climate action is reliant on technology development and transfer to countries so countries around the world can effectively implement their national climate plans and deliver on the Paris Agreement. Ladies and gentlemen, the most important assets that we have in the fight against climate change are our citizens. We must make sure that they have the right skills to innovate and take part in the green transition. This will ensure economically and environmentally sustainable growth. Solid education systems will generate the research, development and innovation capacity required by the green transition. We also need to innovate when it comes to curricula and teaching practices. Romania has made steps in this regard by including, for example, what we call the Green Week in the school year structure, starting as of this school year. Climate change constitutes an extreme threat to the planet and poses an existential threat to its people. Only if all of us, the people across the world, will come together and join forces, will we be able to effectively respond to this unprecedented challenge. Thank you.